what's up everybody it's nerp here and today we are on the test server i have gotten a few requests to do an exclusive structure energy video for the test server because nobody really knows what's going on with structure energy right now because most players that are on the test server are showcasing their ranged energy decks because those seem to be a little bit stronger right now because really all the new cards to energy the only structure was fulmination conduit and that structure kind of doesn't work with structure energy because machine divinator hurts it so structure energy didn't get that many new like fun toys to play with as much as range energy did but you could still work a lot of the new energy cards into a structure energy deck and this was the structure energy deck i was able to come up with so um let me just take a look through the deck first so here new card hired smuggler 222 range attack and when it hits an idol you get to draw a structure scroll so pretty obvious that you want this in a structure energy deck i think just put this in the back behind a structure and you'll every other turn you'll draw a structure usually and you want to keep your structures going so this actually works a little bit better in range decks because you can like put one structure you want like fulmination conduit and you always draw that one structure this is going to be a little bit random what structure you draw because there's four different structure types in the deck but pretty good creature and then i have spark uh for this structure energy deck i took a more late game approach i have a lot of big units so uh, you're gonna want that low cost removal so you'll be able to be staying in the game early on and um, now we have Auto Mata Forge, very popular choice in Structure Energy decks. Um, yeah. Hellspitter Mortar, again, these are two staple structures at three cost. Machine Divinator, you all know what that does. Um, Power Chip, here's a new card. Um, you increase your energy. Uh... Wait. This is a the, the text on this is is wrong. I think, I think it's increase your energy by three, and if your energy is then nine or more, draw a scroll. Not increase your energy by six. That that's wrong, but so it increases your energy by six, not by three. I'm sorry. So it's basically gonna let us play like these later things earlier in the match. That's why I took more like higher resource things in this deck because of this card. You can. You can play them earlier. Burn, amazing card. Everybody knows it's good removal. Clock library, another one of the structures that you're gonna want out to keep your card draw going. Here's a new card, Echomaton. One, two, three for four. When an opponent plays a spell, you increase attack by two. When Echomaton is destroyed, if attack is two or more, increase energy by one. So, pretty solid card. It will get your higher energy, which we want in this deck because we wanna be able to eventually get up to 10, 12 energy. So we can play these guys and haste song giants and all that. And this guy can get really huge really fast if your opponent just starts playing enchantments and spells and well not enchantments, just spells. So he becomes a huge threat uh, pretty fast against some decks. And I like him. Ether Pump, the last structure in this deck. Uh, very strong against growth. Very good structure. It used to be in structure energy decks. Solemn Giant. Nice late game finisher. Not really knows what that does. Sudden Eruption. So this is a new card. Um, I I put it in this deck in place of Thunder Surge and I took Thunder Surge out. So you play this and you have to have at least four energy. But if you play it with four energy, nothing's gonna happen, so don't do that. What it does is you play it with at least four energy and whatever the difference of energy between whatever you had and four is the amount of opponent creatures that will take two damage randomly so uh this can't really be played around like thunder surge is able to so that's nice but you're also going to need a lot of energy to be able to hit a lot of things so that's why power trip and sudden eruption is going to be a nice combo and stuff like that machine chant obvious like more ramp and a structure deck shadow hands here's a new card the unit art uh and and uh an animation is uh done by 
theme art was done by Carnalizer on stream. I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the game. I guess we'll see. Um, he is new. He's 425. Uh, nice energy. Got a pretty decent 5 drop. Better than Greyblock Elder. 4 attack. Very good. And pillage and use the damage until beginning of next turn. So if this guy attacks an idol, then he could pretty much protect like a whole row for any melee or, or any actual unit damage. So I think he's pretty good. That's why he's in the deck. Violent Dispersal. You gotta have your Violent Dispersals to kill those super buffed Braves and stuff. And uh, Iron Ogre, I like this guy in Structure Energy Nab because since there's so much growth, this guy really stomps on growth because the armor one, the six health, makes it so hard to destroy and his seven attack Relentless just plows through all those little creatures. And finally, the energy unique creature, Thea, Top Reaver Thea. She, uh, just awesome. Unique, range attack, piercing, pillage your current energy is increased by two at the beginning of your next turn. It really keeps you going in the late game with all this energy. And then seven attack with uh, piercing is just awesome. So, um, that's what I have. And now we're gonna, I think we're going to, um, I'm gonna message, uh, the Overlord to see if he wants to play me. for testing with our structure energy and we'll see if we can use this deck and win so as you remember this was the range energy deck I had that I showcased in that rebellion decks video and now this is the structure energy deck I have Alright. So. Ludwig, I mean, Doverlord is still in a match, so we're gonna play the hard AI. And yeah, let's go. Okay. And. Pretty good starting hand. We'll get rid of the ogre right away because we're not going to be playing it anytime soon. I mean, we could have gotten like some nice power trips, but I'm not going to rely on that. And he's growth, so we have to be wary of being quaked. Um, I'll sack the Thea as well, but it's going to be nice here. Now we can go mortar next turn, then clock library, then divinator maybe. Uh, since it's growth, I'm actually going to sack the clock library and keep the ether pump because ether pump destroys growth okay not really doing much we're gonna get a structure scroll from this I'm gonna sack the hired smuggler and play an ether pump um, I'll put it back there so now we get another mortar that's very nice now I think it's going to be time I get oh, machine chance cool too. Oh, this tough call. What I want to sack? I think I want to play the machine chant this turn. I'm gonna sack the hell spitter mortar for resources because I want to keep that divinator and play the machine chant on you. So now hopefully we can get lucky and this mortar hits that brother. Ah, all right, just close. She should should shot a little bit farther. Okay. Veteran, new 3 health veteran. It was nerfed if you didn't know. Now we have a power trip. I think I'm going to use it because I'll just draw a card anyways. And I might be able to make some super play. Believe it or not, I'm going to sack this one for cards. You know what, why not? I'll play it. The problem is if I get something I want to play, then I'll have to sack this divinator. But we'll see what we get. Sun eruption, good. That's what I want to see. Now, if I sack this, I could play pretty much anything. Okay. So. I think I'll go violent dispersal, dry structure, and that shadow hands guy. 
Oh, so he still looks like that. Okay. It's kind of invisible. It's kind of hard to see. And Quake. Okay, so one Quake is out of the way. We're going to sack that for cars. And we have another Shadow Hands. He's going to die to the Ether Pump, so that's nice. Um, I don't want you getting veterans, so I'll stick you behind this forge. And I'll actually put a Divinity in front of this Ether Pump. Alright, now Toby doesn't quake again. Nope, okay. Now hopefully we can draw a spark or a burn to get rid of that brave. Or a sudden eruption would actually do really well. It'd wipe his board. But I sacked that last. Oops, sudden eruption. So if we sack Valentasaurus for resources, that would mean, yep, that clears his board. So I will sack Valentasaurus with Shadow Hands. I'm going to sack the Shadow Hands because. I don't think we're going to need multiple blockers. I think we're going to want to keep that bounce dispersal for when we want to destroy like a great wolf or something. So that clears his board. And there. And now this guy is immune to Shadowhand's effect. doesn't say what it does, but what it does is he can't take any damage this turn. Now he can. <laughs> okay. Um... Tough call, I'm gonna sack this hired smuggler here because I wanna keep that amount of dispersal. And good, we get an iron ogre. That is fantastic. I'm going to move you back. Keep you behind there because I don't want to uh now I'm gonna hope this spawns in front of the divinator so it doesn't Yep, so it can't get veteran. So now we have a nice start in the board. Now even if he quakes, I have a Iron Ogre that won't die. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Now I think it's okay to get rid of the Bounce Versal because I want to play that Ether Pump and the Forge. We get a Power Trip as well. If we play the Power Trip, we will have 10 resources where we could play the Thea. But I think it's going to be better if we just get two more structures at this turn. So that's what I'm going to do. Now here's the question, should I use this guy, Shadow Hands, to kill the Magi Wolf, or a Hidden Idol and get the Pillage effect that means he's immune to damage next turn? In case of Quake, he would not take the two damage, that'd be great, but I think we want to get rid of this just in case he has like Ragged's, Crimson's, Veterans to go with it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll put you, I'm going to move you down. I'll move you there. And now I'll play the Forge down there and the Ether Pump up here. Okay. So that this is actually I think the Siege Crackers uh animation here. But we have already seen what the Shadow Hands guy will look like. I think he actually has a different name now, I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Um It's probably a good turn to just play the Thea. Hmm. I'll go ahead and just power trip and see what I get. Echomaton, I'm going to sacrifice because sacrifice for cards as I have a lot of energy now and I don't think he's going to be that useful now. Okay. It's actually better what I just got. Now I can Solemn Giant Haste. That's what I'm going to do. So I will go ahead and do that. And now I have an Ether Pump going off next turn. And a Ogre that can just hit these three lanes. The Sister the Fox is going to die. And a Shadow Hands for four damage that is threatening the top lane also. And he does nothing. So now I will sacrifice. I think we want to keep the removal in our hand because we just want to keep him at bay now. I think I'll sacrifice the shadow hands for the Thea. And may as well get that. Uh, get the idle damage in so you're immune and just use 
the relentless guy to deal damage to the one health guy. Oh no, but the Ether Pump was going to kill it anyways. Whoops, a little mistake right there, but who cares. One damage I, I, I miss out on. Um, you can sit down there, so you're threatening all down there. I'll put you right smack in the middle. Man, she's huge. She takes up, like, so much space. Yeah, so this deck is going to have very threatening guys, like the Ogre, Thea, and the Psalm Giant. Okay, Veteran, and Veter. We have Sudden Eruptions at our disposal also, and stuff like that, so... There's really nothing that can stop us unless he gets like double, double quick, and I think still we're good because we have these more healthy guys now. Structure Energy didn't have like like a the uh, they had Iron Ogres, but this the is gonna be good too. These guys can survive quakes. That's gonna be nice. Um, can we win? No, we can't. Uh, I'm not gonna burn. I'm gonna sack the Clock Library. Solemn Giant's cool, but not right now. I think right now it's just he could quake at any moment, so I think it's just time to get our idle damage in while we can. Yeah. So I'm gonna move you up, you down there, you there, and, and my turn. So the Ethereum's gonna kill the Vetter, and I have two idols destroyed. I don't have a uh, Metal Wonders in this deck. I used to have them in Structure Energy, but I couldn't figure out a place to put them in this deck. So now I can't haste the Psalm Giant next turn. Oh, well, I'm going to win if he doesn't protect that idol down there. And it's GG. I almost said GG to the hard air. It's GG anyways, actually, because of the Thea. You know, I'll let the Thea take the win, not the Psalm Giant. Just so we can see uh, her nice attack animation. And can we do anything fun? Iron Ogre again? Nah, sudden eruption. Ha. Okay. So, that was Structure Energy for you. Still good, especially with the new Thea and the Shadow Hands are pretty cool. And then besides that, it's pretty much normal Structure Energy besides additions of Echomaton and uh, Hired Smuggler, which are more like supporting cards. They're not like crucial creatures, but I think they'll help get the job done. So I think this new structure energy will be better against growth than it used to. I think growth still has the advantage with quake, but higher health creatures like that will help structure energy stay alive. I don't think it's going to be better than range of energy, but we will see. I do still like structure energy a lot, so I'll be testing more of this. And yeah, so I hope those of you who wanted an exclusive structure energy video were uh, pleased and. For everybody watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want more content like this, and thanks for watching everybody. Keep on scrolling.